hello folks uh, today I have the question on the board it's a MCQ question but still I am doing it on the board because I felt that uh, uh, I had to show it much more practically or let us say at least by action I had to show uh, this question belongs to uh, 2020 May June paper 1 1 and the question number is 18 I have done it on paper but to uh, uh, I had a slip up there. I had a, in order to correct that I am making this uh, video once again and in order that uh, it seems much more practical or at least I can enact enact uh, uh, things so I am doing it visually. So it says that uh, it's a very simple question actually but uh, uh, with a slight twist. It says that a ball is dropped from rest dropped from rest and falls towards the ground towards the ground. Air resistance is negligible that means free fall acceleration equal to g that means uh, which graph shows the variation with the speed of the height speed of the height so we generally draw the graph of uh, height with time or displacement with time or speed with time but here what it says is we have to draw the graph of of the height of the height showing the variation with the speed so height with speed height versus speed of the ball above the ground so we have to draw the graph of height of the ball over the ground uh, compared to the speed. So for that uh, what we can realize is so when I drop it here when I drop it here the speed goes on increasing speed goes on increasing and the height from the ground goes on decreasing because height is measured from below to this position. So from here to here it is displacement from here to it is displacement from here to here it is height. So as it falls downward downward like this the height decreases and speed increases speed increases height decreases so that's why among these graphs two of the graph immediately disqualify two of the graph immediately disqualify so they are graph number b and d in those graphs what we have is speed increases height increases speed increases height increases let's not consider the manner they are saying the opposite thing so that's why these two graphs disqualify so let us first disqualify them now we have got uh, two of them in which which is state that when speed increases speed increases height decreases speed increases height decreases speed increases height decreases so they both of them could be correct now to know the manner in which the height and the speed decreases let us uh, have an equation which uh, relate them so the equation will be we have got uh, this uh, <coughs> Uh, the displacement is equal to v square by v square by 2z when something falls from a certain height the displacement will be equal to v square by 2z it has come from this so what we have is we have v square equal to u square plus twice uh, twice into a into s a into s so the value of a is equal to g here a is equal to g and uh, the initial velocity is zero so it will become equal to 0 square plus 2 z s and which gives us gives us gives us s equal to v square by 2 z. So that means uh, the displacement this displacement displacement increases along with v v and uh, the graph between them should be something parabola it gives some parabolic thing here. So it will be somewhat like this. So uh, s is equal to 1 by 2 z v square which means that we have got s equal to some constant v square. So the graph of v and s will be v is the velocity speed and s is the displacement from above from the starting point the graph should be a parabola. But here what they ask is it is from the height. So what you have is now the height should be equal to if this is the initial point from where we drop the thing and let us say it reaches the ground here. So this is the ground here. Uh, let us say it reaches somewhere here somewhere here this is the ground position here this will be equal to h h and this will be equal to s displacement and height so this is displacement and this is the height and height at a certain moment and this thing is the whole height this thing is the whole height so now what we must have now is this h is equal to from this equation we have got h is equal to h minus s minus s and this s will be equal to will be equal to equal to h minus 1 by 2 z v squared 1 by 2 z v squared it will be equal to minus 1 by 2 z 
v squared plus 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 h. So, the equation of uh, this small h will be somewhat like this. Now, the graph of uh, things which have got such equations will be the equation will be of the form y equal to a x square plus b of this form. The graph is parabola, definitely parabola, but a here is negative, a here is negative. So, it should be a reverse parabola. So, a uh, parabola will be somewhat like this, like this and reverse parabola will be somewhat like this, reverse parabola. So, if I go through the choices, C is the correct choice, C is the correct choice. So, this should be the correct choice and this is again, this thing is incorrect. And uh, what we have is, if uh, we have a V equal to 0, V equal to 0, this H will be equal to this H. So, that happens initially, the initially, initially V equal to 0 and at that time, the height is equal to full height, the initial height. So, at this point, V equal to 0, V equal to 0 and this H equal to H, which is proven by this equation. So, the graph is this and uh, we can uh, uh, think about this in some other way also because there is always uh, more than one type of thinking, one type of concept in any, uh, any chapter or in any ideas. What we can say is, if I follow this graph, if I follow this graph, what it says is, it shows some sort of uniformity, uniformity, but here no uniformity because it's parabolic. So, that is why somewhat like this. So, that is the, that is the uh, nature of uh, this graph. So, we have the correct choice as choice number C. Um, and uh, let me remind you, remind you, uh, you might be prompted to, prompted to think uh, it in terms of time. This is not time, it is speed or velocity or velocity. So, that is why the graph has been slightly different.